Hi, hi, uh, welkom. Welkom back to another Uncredit video. Welkom to a new little snippet, a new little idea I had just about a random video about a book. I wanted to make a video about this book about Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, but I didn't want to like provide all the subject matter myself. I wanted to, to be a little bit lazy maybe, and that's where I thought, why not? Ask our good friend AI to help us. My first time using chat GPT because most of the time it didn't work with my email address for some reason. No idea why, but this time I finally got it to work and I asked it, why is Brave New World a good book? What I'm going to do is read the answer to you and additionally give my two cents on what chat GPT thinks about the book and whether I agree with it or not. So that's basically the premise of the video. We're kind of, if you will, reacting to what the answer was to why is it a good book and the second question why should people read it why is brave new world a good book according to ai it is considered a significant and influential work of literature for several reasons some of the aspects that make it a compelling and thought provoking provoking book will be displayed now the dystopian vision huxley presents a chilling vision of a future society that appears to be perfect on the surface but is fundamentally flawed and oppressive he explores the dangers of a technocratic world where individuality, freedom and genuine human connections are sacrificed in the pursuit of stability and control. Very true indeed. They paint it in the story as kind of they are living in a utopia, so they are living in a perfect scenario, a perfect environment, a perfect community, a perfect world, a brave new world, while in fact it is more dystopian. But then again I have to make the remark like it is dystopian from our point of view because it doesn't look like a utopia it doesn't look like the perfect world just because we look at it from how our world is structured right now so who knows is it actually dystopian or maybe if we would evolve into such a worldview would it be a utopia for us would it be amazing for us what we feel great i don't know the giving up of individuality freedom and genuine human connections is definitely one of the main topics in the book though so they got that right that that is dystopian in the sense that it is very very different from what we are used to and if i would imagine myself living in that world but again from my perspective right now i don't think i would be happy either social critique through the portrayal of the world state huxley critiques various aspects of contemporary society he tackles issues such as consumerism mass production superficiality conformity and the dehumanizing effects of technology the book serves as a cautionary tale warning against the excesses of society obsessed with pleasure and instant gratification very much true yeah it indeed critiques this part of society beautiful in a sense also for or as an example for example people learn from a very young age even from before they can co consciously learn about these things through something called hypnopedia so they study things while they are asleep because of a repeating tape think about dexter trying to learn french but only being able to say omelette du fromage afterwards and they learn about certain certain knowledge certain characteristics of their society and one of those characteristics is if your clothes are broken throw them away and buy new ones so the children get brainwashed from a very young age to learn consumerism is the way to go we need to support our economy we need to keep it on turning we need to keep the wheels going and the only thing by doing or the only way of doing that is throwing away everything you own once it gets dull and just purchasing new stuff and it's definitely similar to the real world as well to our capitalistic consumerist society psychological manipulation he delves into the psychological manipulation of individuals to maintain societal control the citizens are conditioned from birth to accept their predetermined roles and prescribed behaviors the concept of conditioning raises questions about free will individual autonomy and the nature of human identity very true people get conditioned even if they don't want to they get these ideas these doctrines instilled in them about for example the different classes in society what their functions are how they should react towards each other and act towards each other which ones are better than others they get conditioned they get psychologically manipulated and in a sense it provides world peace because they don't have to think for themselves anymore the thinking is being done by the alpha pluses the actual highest class of society those are people that still get the heavy task the heavy load of having to think for themselves every other person in the world can just like go with the flow because they are conditioned to for example like 
their work. They are conditioned to like the repetition. They are conditioned to become Nietzsche's superhuman, to be honest. Exploration of human nature. The book explores fundamental questions about what it means to be human. It raises inquiries about the value of emotions, the pursuit of happiness, the importance of suffering, and the significance of personal growth. The contrast between the sterile happiness of the world state and the more complex, messy, and imperfect experience outside its borders highlights the complexities of human nature. True. Very true as well. It explores the human condition a little bit. The human condition of feeling emotions, feeling sadness, being confronted with things in life that you don't always want to be confronted with and having to keep on going even if you don't like what's happening. Whereas the wild people, they are way more regressed. They are living in primitive states. They don't worry about those things like the human condition. They embrace it. They make it part of their life suffering, for example. They hit themselves with a whip to make sure that they can feel pain. Prophetic elements. Although written in 1931, Huxley's novel contains numerous elements that resonate with our present day society. Themes such as genetic engineering, social stratification, excessive hedonism, and the manipulation of information bear relevance to contemporary issues, making the book feel eerily prophetic. True. You can definitely recognize some of the aspects of our modern day society in the book and sometimes even like a little bit too much. It, it is indeed worrying a little bit, especially like the things like stratification or genetic engineering, a very, very actual topic, a very a topic of these times for sure. People going embryo shopping, for example, like, oh no, this one has a little disorder or even going further like blue eyes. No, we want brown eyes. It's touchy subjects and even about 70 almost 100 years ago Huxley was already writing about this stuff I get why the book is controversial I get why the book has been banned for a while in some regions because it it makes you think and people thinking is often very dangerous literary merit Huxley's writing style is often praised for its clarity wit and imaginative power he employs a range of literary techniques including irony satire and vivid imagery to engage readers and convey his ideas effectively. The book's well-crafted narrative and memorable characters contribute to its enduring literary value. I think this is the only point the AI provides where I am not completely agreeing. But I mean, five out of six points I do agree with, but the book didn't really stand out for me in terms of its literary merit. No, I wouldn't have, I definitely wouldn't say that that was the case. It was an okay read. It was a little bit of a page turner, but I think more because of like the actual implications and actual contents of the book than the way it was written. It didn't, it, it was not written in a bad way. There weren't topic, there weren't things that like disturbed me or that annoyed me. I did love the chapters, for example, where they were jumping in between three or four different situations and different dialogues. That was intriguing for us as a reader. But other than that, it wasn't like a wow experience for me in terms of literary merit, but nothing wrong with it either. Just not something I would portray as one of the main core strengths of this book or why it's a good book. Ultimately, Brave New World is a good book because it prompts readers to reflect on the state of society the nature of humanity and the potential consequences of unchecked technological and social progress. It challenges our assumptions and forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about ourselves and the world we live in. True, it makes you think, it makes you wonder, it makes you reflect a little bit. It makes you think about certain topics that you don't want to think about. Like for example, how in the future we might all be born out of bottles. We might not have a say in the world at all. How in the future polygamy will be the norm and single one-on-one -on -one relationships between two humans might not be the case at all anymore. No, but everybody will think that will be weird. It's, it's possible. You can never predict what the future will hold. And he proposes some cool, but also dangerous ideas for sure. Oh, that's a lot of reading. Maybe I should wait a while before I continue. I also asked the AI whether people should read the book. The first question was like, why is it a good book? And now should people read it? Which is the question I normally ask related to books on the Onkara channel. If you're into my other book content, you definitely know about this already. Why should people read it? The first reason, according to AI, according to ChatGPT, is that it involves critical thinking. The book forces readers to question the world around them, and I can't agree more. I think this is one of the main strengths of the book, and it's definitely why people should read it. I do think that the book could have gone a bit further in it, if you will. I mean, for its time, it was probably mind-blowing, absolutely crazy. 
but now in like the progressive times we live in where things like woke are already like part of the public discourse i think the book is a bit is a bit less of a bombshell than it used to be still though it definitely definitely makes you think about stuff makes you think about the life you are living and whether it's actually just like okay and whether it's normal the things that we accept to be normal According to the AI, it challenges readers to reflect on their own values and beliefs and encourages a deeper understanding of the human condition. Definitely true. Definitely true as well. Societal awareness is another point. It offers a thought-provoking commentary on contemporary society. For sure. About the stratification into different classes, about racism, about how, for example, to be very blunt and to be racist, you need those cheap workers from other countries you need immigrants you need them to keep your nation going and additionally about things like consumerism and capitalism and materialism i think it really makes you think as well so those those are topics you as a reader and as a human in the western society should be thinking about and reflecting on as well thinking about do i really want to contribute to this or do i want to maybe take a left turn where society would dictate i would take a right turn Historical relevance, it's a classic work of dystopian literature, probably right up there with things like EO, there's a spider, with things like 1984 by George Orwell. I really think though that just because a book is considered a classic that people should be like, oh yeah, you should read it. So this reason, hmm, yeah, I understand why AI would come up with it. I don't personally completely agree with it. I'm gonna have to kill that bug because it's gonna be bugging me too much otherwise. <laughs> Comedy. All right, it flew into the lamp and I think it's just gonna spend the rest of his days there, probably the rest of his seconds because it's gonna be extremely hot in there. So historical relevance, I get why it's an argument. It wouldn't be a personal argument for me. Literary exploration. It's a masterpiece of literature in general, according to AI. Reading it allows individuals to appreciate the artistry and craftsman craftsmanship of Huxley's writing style. Again, as I told you earlier about the question whether it's a good book or not and why, I don't necessarily completely agree with this. It's well written, it's okay, but it doesn't stand out because of that for me. Personal growth as a fifth reason. Engaging with challenging and thought-provoking literature like Brave New World can contribute to personal growth and self-reflection. Absolutely, absolutely true. I think this kind of ties into the other reasons of why people should read it, but I think it there's a, a case to be made, yeah, for sure. I think that thinking about the societal structures that you are embedded in and how you can maybe leave them behind at some points to really do what you want yourself, to really live the life that aligns with your own values instead of with the value society dictates for you, I think that can definitely provoke and promote personal growth for sure without a doubt relevance to contemporary issues is the final reason ai gives despite being written decades ago brave new world remains relevant to contemporary issues yeah well that kind of i mean has been explained already so should you read it ai gives a couple of good arguments but in general they boil down to like yeah because it makes you think and i think that's enough of a reason and i think that's the main reason i would give as an advice to people that are wondering whether they should read the book or not. In summary, people should read Brave New World for its ability to promote critical thinking. Absolutely. Increase societal awareness, explore historical relevance, appreciate literary craftsmanship, foster personal growth and offer insights into contemporary issues. It's a thought-provoking and influential work that continues to engage readers and spark important conversations. Couldn't have said it better and that's why I let AI say it for me. I agree with most of the points it made and I agree that you should probably read the book because it was a great read. If you have to believe Roger Waters from Pink Floyd, it is definitely a must read as well. Thank you very much for watching, hope to see you in the next one, bye bye.